It's not taped, you said. It's barely taped. You good? That's the face of this is taped. Oh, oh no. these are coilovers though. How's it going guys? So today we're going to be installing the Max Bini Rods coilovers and I'm also going to take you guys around the block, show you guys some of the different differences and kind of give you an ultimate review after a thousand miles on how the coilovers have been. So hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. We got the wheels off and right now the car does have coilovers, but they are shot. The car literally bounces like it doesn't even have springs on it. So we're gonna take out these junk coils and put in the new Max Pini Rods one. They are in like the lower budget end. So I'm gonna let you guys know realistically how it rides. So we gotta loosen this Jimmy John's and then we gotta loosen this Jimmy John and then in the engine bay and then they should be able to come out. Damn. No, we don't. I don't know if it's that good that it's this easy to take off. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was about to say, I was like, is this a good thing or? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it's tight, but it's not like, wow, I feel safe tight. <laughs> like I'm pitching all the time that we made pulls in this car and I'm like, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on it, people. It was loose? It was loose as fuck. I didn't even have to put any pressure. Watch, right, ready, ready? <laughs> Yo. Yo. I checked a lot of bolts on this car. I didn't check these. And I hate myself for it. Nice! So the booty hole is out. Oh my god, I'm a mechanic! It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It really is not. Let me get those nuts. Those, these nuts are for on top though. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting them on top. All right, no, I can help you with that. Yeah, honey. Can you put it on top? Just so I can have some kind of... It can just be finger tight, but that way like, I don't have to hold it up and do everything on top. Damn, son. Is it, just, is it supposed to go more than that? Yeah, it goes that way up. All right, so now we got the shiny boy in. Cause I guess like, from what I've seen, they use it for a bunch of different Hondas, so I guess that's to make it sit better. When we first put it in, it had a bit of play, but let's see if it's even easy to get in. Holy shit, never mind. Go ahead. A little bit, a little bit more. Let me just going in? Yeah. Bring it down. will be next weekend for you guys will be next clip we'll start on the rears by the way look at a beautiful sunset gotta love miami so i got the back wheel off on the driver's side and i found out what the knocking sound is I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I wonder if the other side's the same way. Yeah, but it looks like it. Look right there, it looks like it's the same way. This thing was not tight at all. Okay, it should come out. You don't have to tighten it, but just put it snug. I might not be able to see it, but I just have the wrenches resting on the tire, giving it the pressure. All right, guys, the car is out on the new coils, and it is a bit lower than before. This is also the first time it's been on the ground with the new suspension, and there's no adjustable arms in the front anymore. So there is a bit of camber up front. No, if you able to tell there. And there's a bit of camber in the back because the back is <laughs> way lower. What's going on guys? So it's been about nine months since the last clip when we installed the coilovers and we put maybe around a thousand miles on them. Um, this car really isn't driven too much, 
but just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a review or expectation for these cold overs if you're planning on putting them in your car. Right now, I have the coil set to the softest setting that they can be. Um, I usually run them on the hardest setting just to kind of keep everything a bit stiff. This is the first time I'm driving it on the softest setting. And honestly, like so far, I've only been in the neighborhood. It's pretty smooth. It's a little floaty, but it's soft. Like it's not very aggressive at all. Um, I'll give it a little bit of a rip here to see how it feels on their, on their boost, but honestly, it feels really comfortable. Especially when you consider how much these coilovers are. rough and intense like I'm going through these little like holes or batches and it, it's not killing me or anything like that like I just feel it all right guys so I put it to dead smack in the middle in the settings so it seems I counted it seems to be about 24 clicks so I went 12 up on all of them so we'll see how it rides this is a smack in the middle between hard and soft To be honest, that feels good. The other one, I think the, the softest setting was a little bit too soft. It felt a bit floaty, but I think how it is right now, I'm trying to hit some bumps and stuff to see how it feels, but that, that feels better. I feel like this is a solid balance between stiff and soft. All right, so this is how I've been driving on it. I guess we'll see today if maybe I'm gonna end up making it a little bit softer, at least in the front for daily driving, but. I know it's pretty stiff, yeah. Like I already feel it bouncing way more than before, so. The stiffness does actually work. It gets pretty stiff. But like I said, this is daily driver stiff. I don't think this is track level stiff to where you won't get any kind of rock to the back during launches or whatnot. Like I said, this little, you see like, it's a lot less floaty, much more direct and like up and down. So depends what you want it for. That's just, I'm just showing you this because depending on what you guys want it for. It is a very entry level budget coilover set. And it really depends if this will suit the needs that you guys want. I've raised the car a bit because it was a little too low. So I know there were a couple people complaining about how low the coilovers go for max speeding rods on the lower end. And honestly, this one sat pretty low like i don't think you could dump it to the ground but the way it was before it was nowhere near maxed out and it was pretty low that's something to consider for you guys who are getting it strictly for like the actual height i really don't have any complaints necessarily i know there's been people complaining saying that they do have issues with it leaking from the actual coilover um i haven't encountered those issues myself I also have heard that the customer service is absolutely fantastic and they usually if you do have an issue they do kind of correct it or send you out a new unit as soon as possible so I think overall these are pretty solid entry coilovers like I think the ones for this car they're on our website for about 270 or 280 and they're fantastic I would recommend them I say I would give them a try, especially if you're trying to do it for like a daily driver, kind of just like street car. If you're going more for like a race car, strip build, I feel like it doesn't go as stiff as you would need because 
my goal was to kind of have the back very stiff and the front kind of uh, pretty stiff but not super stiff and it still does have some rock back when doing launches or whatnot but that's being completely nitpicky for a set of 270 dollars coilovers let me know down below if you guys are running these coilovers if you agree with me if you disagree if you had any horror stories let me know that's pretty much all i gotta say on the coilovers and i'll see you guys next week